everyone, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so that you're notified of all new videos. I'm currently uploading twice a week, plus I will start live streaming every week next week. So I'll start live streaming January 22nd. I actually live streamed for 30 days in a row in December. If you missed any of that, I called it stream miss slash vlog miss. I'll link that playlist down below. And I did not miss a stream. I uploaded every single day. So I took a little break, but I'm going to jump back to live streaming starting next week. So anyways, today's video is actually a collab video with the beautiful Quisha J. I will leave all of her information down below. Make sure to go and check out her video because we created two different looks. Subscribe to her channel. She does hair reviews, hair tutorials, and even makeup tutorials, and she's gorgeous. So make sure to check out her channel. All of her information is down below. So we created two different full face, full glam makeup looks for you. I feel like mine, now that I'm looking at it, was kind of simple. I don't know, you guys will tell me in the comments. I feel like this is pretty easy to achieve. It's just a simple cut crease. I say simple cut crease. A cut crease used to be so difficult for me. I'm getting a little better at it because you guys know I'm not a professional makeup artist, but I'm getting a little better at it. And all the shadows that I used are from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. So every color I have on my eyes is from this palette. I wanted to do that because I've been getting a lot of emails and comments on Instagram of people telling me they have this palette and they wanted to see how I used it. So that's what I did. I feel like this is pretty easy. Let me know if you recreate it, what you think of it. And don't forget to check out Quisha's video. Again, all of her information is linked down below. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so first business of order, pull the hair back. And then I jump right into the brows. I've been using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade for years. This has not changed. So that's why I always fast forward through this part because all I do is I fill in my brows, I brush them with a spoolie brush, bam, done. I really need to venture out and try other brow products. I've literally been using this product since it came out like two or three years ago and even though I love it, I'll always use it. I need to try other products because that's what my channel's about. So leave some suggestions of good brow products to try down below. I'm open to it. This is another step I've been doing for years. I'm using, I believe this is the Black Radiance Concealer Stick. It's just so easy. I just brush the concealer on straight under the brows just to add some definition, cover up any mistakes, and I use my finger to blend it out. So simple, folks. So now I'm going into the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette, and I'm taking the color Cypress Umber. It's the brown shade all the way at the end of the palette. I love using this in the crease. Very easy to blend. Very pigmented, even though I'm brown. So if you're even a couple shades lighter than me or lighter than me at all, I feel like it would be even more brown. It's just really easy to blend. Pigmented, I love it. I think this is like my favorite crease color right now. I use it in so many looks. It's great for dramatic looks. You can pack it on. Or you can just use it for more neutral looks. So now I'm going in with this MAC concealer. I think this is like NC45. I'll link it down below. I love to use this as a base for eyeshadows when I want my eyeshadows to really pop. And also when I'm doing a cut crease. Because you can see how it just makes the crease look so neat. Because you're just packing it on and it really defines the crease for you. It makes doing a cut crease so easy. So if you're struggling with cut creases, I definitely suggest just packing on a concealer and you're basically just drawing out the crease by concealing the lid. You see what I mean here? You just need a flat brush and you don't even really have to be that neat and it really does all the work for you. I love this stuff, I've had it for years. I'm gonna go back into that palette and use the color Primavera, which is essentially just a very gold, shimmery shade and I'm gonna put that on the inner corner of the eye only. So I'd say I'm taking it like, I don't know, you can see I'm not taking it very far in. That's gonna be the inner corner shade because it's very bright, it's very light, it's very shimmery and then we'll add more shades on the other part of the lid. But I'm just packing that on, as you can see, on the inner corner. And because we put that concealer down, it makes the color really pop. I love this shadow in uh, the palette. Some of the shadows in the palette I don't use as often. This is one of my favorites. I'm going to go back into that palette and use Buon Fresco, I think it's called. It's a light purple shade. Very, very light. Like you can see almost on camera, it's not coming up. It's a very light purple shade, and I'm packing that on the middle of the lid, and I'm going to leave the outer corner blank for now. You can see it a little better on this side. It's very light. 
It's not as light as it's looking on camera, but it, I did find it a little difficult to work with. I don't know why. Some of the shadows in this palette aren't as pigmented as others. So now I'm going to go back into the palette and use the color Love Letter and Venetian Red. So those are like these more purple, red-toned colors. I love them. These are the two shades, actually the whole reason why I bought this palette. I love the shades. I don't have anything like it in my makeup collection. So you can see what it looks like there. It's just like a really bright orange, purple, slash red. I love it. I do find that I have to really go over these and go over them because their color pigmentation isn't as much as I'd like on one application. So I literally spent like six times going back. More color, more color, more color. I don't know why. Some of the shadows in this palette are really pigmented and then some of them are not. Like you can see here, I cut out a lot of it, but I had to go back into that light purple shade because I wanted it to show up a little more. I didn't want it to look so light. So that's essentially what I'm doing. So I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this palette. If any of you guys have this palette, let me know. Like, I use it all the time, but I'm starting to notice I really have to work at getting the color pigmentation I want. So now I'm going to go in with liner, and literally, guys, this liner was a dollar. I think I got it from the beauty supply store. I can't even tell you that I'll link it down below because, honestly, I don't even know the name of it. It was literally a dollar from the beauty supply store. You can use any black liquid liner that you have and I really like this one because the brush is really thin but also the black dries matte once it's dry but you really need to take your time if you use a black liquid liner that it has a really thin um, pencil or brush because whoa that took me a long time so I popped my lashes on I use the Sephora collection number four lashes I'll link those below and I'm using one of my favorite primers the Becca ever matte poreless priming perfecter great if you have oily skin I did a full impressions first impressions video on it and I'm gonna go in with the Sephora collection foundation I also did a first impressions on this foundation I'll link that video down below I love this foundation. I'm just chomping away at the gum. I was so hungry filming this, guys, <laughs> so I had to get some gum and just keep moving. So I love this foundation. I'm just packing it all over the skin. I have a little breakout happening right now, so I'm trying to really focus on the chin area. So I'm breaking out a little bit, chomping away at the gum, just packing on the foundation. And you don't need very much of this foundation. I would say like one pump if you want full coverage. It's great. Going into concealer. Now this concealer, this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Concealer. Two things. Number one, I'm well aware this shade is very light. I like a light under eye, but this is really light. Second thing is, this stuff is thick. If you want full coverage concealer, this stuff is the way to go. If you don't like thick, full coverage concealers, like if you don't like to feel the concealer on your skin, I think you would hate this. I love it because I love full coverage makeup. But you'll see, I had to cut a lot of it out. I really had to work at blending this stuff out, and I did not realize it was this light. Even for me, this is a little too light, but I spent a lot of time blending it out. I just cut that out because if I did in this video, it would literally be 20 minutes long. I'm not kidding. I think I spent about 10 minutes blending this stuff out. First, I used my finger. Then I went in with the damp beauty blender. Then I went in with the foundation brush. Then I went in with my finger. Oh, my God, guys. It was just a lot. This stuff is thick. I really like it. I just want to go back and get a different shade. I'm going to use this one because this wasn't that affordable, but yeah, it's very bright. Yeah, I had to work a lot to blend it into my skin. Now I'm going to take the Bin Eye Powder and bake a little bit. So I'm putting that everywhere that I put the concealer. I should have really spit that gum out. This looks so bad. <laughs> I was so hungry. So now I'm going to take a minute to do a little selfie, take a little Instagram story. Follow me on Instagram because I'm always posting behind the scenes stuff on there. So now I'm going to contour my nose and I believe this is the Black Opal Foundation Stick. I love to use this. I really only use it to contour my nose because it makes it so easy to just get that color on the nose and then what you'll see what I do is I use my fingers. I like to use my fingers to apply makeup a lot because I find that the warmth from my fingers really blends the makeup up out and it makes it look more natural and then what I'll do is I'll go in with the brush to finish off the job just to define it but I usually start with my fingers so now I'm going to go in with the Anastasia glow kit and I'm going to take the shade bronzed I have the glow kit in sun dipped and I'm going to put that highlighter all down the bridge of my nose and I'm also going to pack it on my cheeks um, and I'm using this brush. This is one of the brushes I got from Amazon. I did a full review on Amazon makeup brushes. I'll link that video down below. There's some favorites and there's some hate -its. 
This one is one of the hated because as you will see, the brush literally just breaks on me as I'm applying the highlighter. It does a good job of applying the highlighter, but I could feel it was loose and look, it literally <laughs> just came off the handle. I was like, what the hell? Let's move on. So now I'm going to go in with blush. I'm using the Sephora brand blush. That's a tongue twister. Um, this is also featured in my Sephora collections first impressions. I'll link that video down below because I feel like a lot of people don't talk about Sephora brand makeup. I really like this blush. Lipstick time. I'm going to use this Maybelline lipstick. I can't remember the name. I'll link it down below. I link everything down below guys. So if I don't tell you the exact name of something, check the description bar because I always link it down below. I love this color. I always overline my lips because I have little itty bitty tiny weeny lips. So I overline my lips quite a bit. I should use a lip liner, but I find it easy to do it with lipstick. Now I'm going to go in with this Julia Hewitt lipstick. I can't remember the shade. I will link that down below. This was actually sent to me for free. I really like this color, but I like to put it on top of another color just to add some extra pop. Sorry if you can hear the dog barking in the background. I'm going to go back into that Anastasia palette and just put the brown shade all on the lower lash line, and that is it. That is the finished look. Don't forget to follow Quisha J, check out her video, subscribe to her channel, and if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.